Hi there. Today we're going to learn how to share or clone a certificate between two Okta SAML applications using Postman. First, let's take a look at when this might be useful. If you have multiple SAML applications pointing to the same app environment and need to use the same Okta app certificate, you'll need to clone the certificate from one app to another. Okta used to use the same org-wide app certificates, but now each app has its own unique certificate. This is where Postman comes in handy. To share an existing certificate with a new app integration, you'll need the following. A super admin account in Okta to generate the API token, the API token generated for the super admin account, and Postman installed and configured with the API token. You'll also need to add the apps API collection to Postman. Once everything is set up, you'll be able to share certificates between apps. Now, let's walk through the steps for sharing the certificate. First, in Postman, go to the Apps collection and use the List Apps request to retrieve the key ID, or KID, and the app ID for the app from which you will retrieve the certificate. Let's call this App 1. If the app is not listed, there are additional steps we can take to paginate the results and find our missing app. Note the app ID for app2 as well. Next, we'll build the URL that Postman will use to perform the post action. We'll do this in our favorite text editor of choice, using the noted key ID for app1 and the app IDs for app1 and app2. Once the URL has been built, we're going to copy it in preparation for the next step. Then, go to the Apps Collection, Certificate Operations, and select the Share Clone Certificate API request. Now that the API call has been copied and we've got the proper Share Clone request ready to go, paste the copied API call into Postman. Click the Send button to perform the Share Clone action. If the app being searched for is not listed with the List Apps request, it could be due to the limit parameter on the List Apps request's default limit of 20. To adjust this, add a parameter called Limit to the List Apps API request and set the value to 200. Then resend the request and search for the app among the results. If the app still does not appear, there could be more than 200 apps on the Okta org. In this case, you'll need to follow additional steps. Run the List Apps API request without the limit parameter and click on the Headers tab of the results. If there are paginated results, there will be a link header in the results with the URL for the next page of apps. Copy the part of the URL of the link header which contains the REL value of Next but do not include the ampersand character in the value. Create a new parameter for the List Apps API request called after and set the value for the new parameter to the string that was copied. Finally, send the request again to get the next page's results. If there are more pages, this process can be repeated until there is no next link in the headers section. And that's it. Now you know how to share or clone a certificate between two Okta SAML applications using Postman. Remember, in order to share an existing certificate with a new app integration, you'll need a super admin account in Okta, the API token generated for the super admin account, and Postman installed and configured with the API token. For more videos like this, remember to check back with the Okta support playlist on YouTube often. Thanks for watching.